And in the sport, the Glasgow Warriors squad receive a champ. OK, let's get tonight's sport now with Amy. It's not been great on the football front recently, but rugby, different story. Oh, yes, plenty to celebrate on the rugby front. Thanks very much, Laura. That's where we're going to start. Good evening. The party is continuing for Glasgow Warriors, who are celebrating their United Rugby Championship title win in front of a sold-out crowd at Scotston tonight. The squad returned to Scotland with the trophy following what was a triumphant win over Bulls in Pretoria at the weekend. Our reporter Andy Burke is there for us. Andy Burke there for us. Well, to football now, and Aberdeen Chief Executive Alan Burrows says they are prepared to take Rangers to a tribunal if it means getting the best value for Conor Barron. The 21-year-old signed a four-year deal with the Ibrox club after his contract ended at Aberdeen. And despite being a free agent, the Dons would be owed compensation due to the amount of time he spent with their academy. Work. And just before I go, you might remember 23-year-old Praise Olatoke. We spoke to him on the programme a few months ago as he embarked on an all-important NFL trial, dreaming to swap the running track for the football field. And after impressing scouts, Praise from Glasgow has been announced as the Los Angeles Chargers' newest wide receiver. Yeah, I think we're all pretty excited, Laura, just to see where this is going to take praise. Of course, the new NFL season getting underway in September, so we're going to have to keep an eye on them. Yeah, indeed, a life of adventure. That sounds good, doesn't <laughs> it? Somebody else looking for a life of adventure and has scaled new heights, in fact. Um, yeah, because it is quite a feat to climb the country's tallest uh, mountain, even once. But what about scaling Ben Nevis seven times in 24 hours?